Hello everyone, uh, this is Alex Kovalskov and we're starting our weekly Studio Photography Insights Hangout. And uh, today we'll be talking about uh, shooting sunglasses. Uh, that was our uh, latest assignment for the week. Let's do, maybe, guys, do we do uh, this little uh, self, uh, how you call it? Uh, well, I forgot the name. The introduction. Introduction, yes, self introduction. Or are we going to skip it? What do you think? No, I don't care. Let's anyway. do one minute. One minute. So, because we, we may have new people uh, looking at us, right? Yeah, sure. Go for uh, it. So Absolutely. Well, you first, Dave. <laughs> um, Dave Nitchi, photographer, United States. I do weird stuff. Um, that's about it. Cool. Uh, I'm Noah Katz, photographer. Um, I do other stuff. I I brew beer, drink it on the hangout. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's about it, I guess, for now. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, Paul Bartel, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm a retoucher by trade, just uh, trying to pick up some uh, tips and tricks of uh, studio photography. You're doing a great job. Oh, I see your photos. Thank you. Ron? Ron, it will be your first uh, self-introduction, right? So, go ahead. You know, it looks like he's frozen. Yeah, okay. He, he's back. Oh, he's back on now. Ron, give yeah, us an yeah. introduction, man. Oh, he's got his headphones. Wait. Okay, Ron? Yeah, Ron Gibbs, uh, living in North Carolina. I'm retired. I do whatever I want. Uh, <laughs> God, I'm so jealous. I I, uh, I play with photography from time to time as well as computers. Steve? That's it. Yep, Steve Savoy okay, from uh, sorry, Steve Savoy from uh, Quebec, Canada. I'm a photographer, and I enjoy these hangouts so I can learn as much as possible. That's about it. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Okay, yeah. Jeff, say hi to us all. Hey, everybody. Um, Jeff Creech from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, yeah, and I like photography. <laughs> <laughs> and you like flames. I know you like the uh, yeah. <laughs> fire in your garage. <laughs> yeah. I try to use anything that's e anything that adds some dynamic to the photo, whether it be liquid or fire. Basically, I need to use earth. I need to use one of the other elements, I guess. But <laughs> You know, well, last time I one. used fire, I almost burned my house down, and, and <laughs> I just can't go that way anymore. So, it's all good. Alrighty, thank you. Well, is it my internet, or is it... Because I see some weird stuff going on. Do you he hear me and see me oh, well? Yeah. You yeah. seem yeah, fine, Alan. Huh? Well, yeah. it's probably downstream then, which is good. Yeah. Uh, so let's start from reviewing images, and then yeah, I, I can we can probably shoot something at the end if we we have time. But the problem is that we usually do it for like two hours, and there is not much time. Then you're always saying, "Why are you gonna shoot something? It's not what you <laughs> kind of what people want to do." I don't know. Hopefully we'll, we'll have time to shoot something. So let me share my screen and let's see the submissions. I uh, I have posted on Google Plus the uh, like an album with uh, all the images. So if uh, somebody who's watching us on broadcast uh, want to see higher resolution, just go to my stream uh, and it will be there. You can go through the same images, which we go right here. Okay, this is the first one from Steve, Steve Savoy, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember I asked you why it's uh, uh, brown sand, <laughs> because I, first I thought it's like soil, but uh, I said it's sand, so... Yeah, uh, we don't have a uh, great beach sand up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I see the concept, uh, it's interesting, it's like uh, it should kind of be the beach feeling, you know, that sun, and uh, that's why you have this uh, like directional light, right, with uh, shadows without um, softbox, which is cool. 
But you know what I would do probably different here. First, I need to add something, maybe some props, maybe like a uh, footstep or something which will just add uh, some play or toy or you know, some, some stuff to the picture. And then I would probably play with the depth of field. You see, it's kind of everything is looks flat. And actually, the sand is uh, more in focus than uh, the glass itself. I'm talking about this area, right? So I would probably, mm, well, Maybe even in Photoshop, just blur uh, stuff which uh, can be blurred by lens or maybe uh, opened up uh, aperture, right? Uh, okay. To make uh, less depth of field so it will be more focused wow. on the glass than on the sand. Because now it's just kind of, uh, yeah, that's what I would probably do, considering like one light source and that beach look. Dave, what do you think? Um, the first thing that came to my mind when I heard this was a beach was a reflection of a girl in a bikini. Yes. In, <laughs> in the, um, I'm sorry, I, I can't help it. It's it's the first thing that came to mind, um, and it would have taken away all focus on the brown sand, the glasses, and everything. Um, and then you could title it something like you know lurking or looking or something like that to give it. You know, sort of that feel to it, um, because this is sort of stagnant. It's it's a picture of sunglasses on sand, but what's it trying to say, or where is it coming from? So uh, that was the first thing that came to my mind, and uh, um, I would probably go with that and keep working on it. You know, I, I think the thing we all sort of fail with here, um, a couple guys do great with it, um, but after we do this, the picture sort of ends. Um, you know, th this is a great forum. It's taught me a lot, and I, I sort of move on with the pictures after it. Um, I'm still working on that flame from the blowtorch thing that I shot a few weeks ago. I won't let it go until I get it. So keep going with this. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a good idea and can get better. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and you know, bikinis are always good. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. Thank you, Dave. Uh, anyone uh, want to add something? Yeah, bikinis shut everybody up. Yeah, uh, bikinis. <laughs> bikinis. <laughs> I think it's about um, bikini, basically, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, and this is how it was shot. Uh, I'm just showing the... Thank you, Steve, for posting uh, the yeah. lighting setup. Uh, oh, several reflectors, and we have uh, basically sunny day, right, from one light source, which is yeah, and if you want to dry the sand out, just set your oven at about 350 and put it in for a few minutes. I've done that before. Yeah, or you know, it can be, uh, if it's wet, because now it's like uh, kind of semi-wet, right? It's not dry enough, but it's not wet like uh, near the water. Maybe uh, you need yeah. to add a lot of water so it will be almost like soaking in water, you know? Maybe it will be like... And it, it can give some glare uh, from the surface, which, which will cool as well. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Let's jump to, I think it's Sandra. Sandra is not with That's us uh, today. Sandra Parlo, right? But uh, cool shot. <laughs> I don't know, is it real uh, reflection? Looks like it's real, right? It's not a Photoshop uh, looking at these areas. Which yeah, is, it, looks, yeah. it looks real to me. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It's a reflection cool. of a poster or something she added. Yeah, yeah, because I see the background here. I mean, the bottom portion of uh, reflects the paper. Uh, so let's. Stop critiquing. Uh, <laughs> what I can hear, do here? Probably I will fit uh, watch a little bit more, at least for this part, because if we crop it, it will be it should be cropped. Uh, let's say like this, if, uh, without uh, looking this little piece. Or, or, e or either more. show the whole thing. Yes, uh, exactly. I'll one show. One or the other. Yeah. Yeah, and plus it should be a little bit more room than uh, at the bottom, especially. It's a little bit yeah. tight. And uh, with background. It's a little bit pinkish, which is kind of fine, but it should be, well, like Jenny was saying, if it's white, it should be white. If it's not white, let's add more, maybe a little bit pink to it, or maybe just make it darker, so it will be a little bit um, somewhere more like clear or more darker, because now it's just not clean. Which yeah, well, I, would I would have probably either grayed it all out, um, you know, yeah. which is my style. Um, and yeah, the bottom is really important. You know, pressure points um, are really bad in pictures. 
Uh, anything that, that makes a viewer look at it and say, wow, I'm uncomfortable. Even though they're not saying it out loud, they're feeling it. Um, so when you get close to an edge like that, it's called a pressure point, and you've got to release it. You've got to give a little bit more space for people to feel comfortable. Um, I love Sandra. I, I, I think her passion for photography is amazing. Uh, and now she's, she's just sort of taken this up and gone into another avenue that she's never really dealt with. So it's so awesome. Um, and, uh, but, you know, as far as the, those reddish hues to it go, um, they have to go. Uh, it's got to be grayed out, in my opinion. Uh, and add a little bit more space at the bottom either take that tip out at the right or or open the frame up a little bit more. Um, but uh, cool thought. And, yeah, I think this is real. I think it's, uh, you know, there's some reflection going into the lens, which is pretty impressive, really, when you get down to it. Uh, after after all the crap I went through on my lenses, uh, this, this, is, uh, this is good. I like it a lot. Great hues, great colors. Her write-up said the right reflection is real and the left reflection she had to add in Photoshop. Oh really? Yep. Um, oh. Boy, I I couldn't tell. Uh, and you know, when Photoshop work comes in, if you can't tell, it's a score. What do you think, Dave? On the you talk about pressure points on the bottom. What about the the arm on the top in the middle? With the you red? know, for, for some reason that doesn't really bother me that much because the focus point is the lenses themselves. Right. Uh, you know, so if, if it opened up a little bit more in the bottom, it would create, it, it would relieve that tension that's going on in the image. Um, and, you know, it, it, like Alex was sort of alluded to, you know, maybe close down the, the EOF a little bit and let that arm be a little bit more blurred um, so it doesn't become a real focal point. Uh, the red really attracts your eye, um, but if it were blurred, it might not. Um, so... Uh, yeah, the the whole frame needs to be opened up. But, uh, right. but, uh, but cool stuff. R r really, a, really a great shot. And when you know, when you think about somebody going outside their realm as much as this is, um, impressive stuff. Really is. Totally. And what about what do you think about the left side? Is like you talk about pressure point on the left side. To me, doesn't seem like a pressure point because it seems like it's purposely chopped off, right? Oh yeah, a absolutely. There's, there's, uh, there's not, you know, like when you look at the right and you see that little tip sticking out, that's, right. that's pressure. When you look at the bottom and you see that little sixteenth inch of space, that's pressure. Um, oh, you're talking about this, right? Yeah, when, when, yeah, that, 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 that's pressure. When you look at the left and such a crop item, um, it's not pressure. If anything, it's a leading line in, you know, that curve into the main right. frame. Because really, that, that, that lens in the middle of the frame is the subject of the shot. So anything that can lead into it works. Um, that. That, that right arc um, to the earpiece, um, it's cut off, so it's sort of stopping that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, um, and then, and then add, and then add a little bit on the bottom, and you got it. Yeah. You figured out how to do it, Alex, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was easy. The crop to me was easy. Put that in. It's not that easy. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dave. Yeah, very good points, and uh, uh, talk about composition. Yeah. Alrighty, let's jump to this one. Uh, John uh, Velasquez. Actually, it's two shots, this and this, which is pretty cool. Oh. Uh, I like the glow, that kind of neon, but it's, I think it's called neon glow, right? Uh, and uh, I even, well, I'm certainly like when it's, uh, some something is here, because when it's completely black, it's a little bit, uh, I need something. Uh, it's cool when it's that much, but probably I would maybe prefer uh, somewhere in between, like uh, some gradient, but not as bright, you know, uh, on the glass itself. Uh, but the rest, well, it's it's cool. Maybe again, a little bit uh, tight, too tight. For me, I always wish a little bit more uh, room all around. But otherwise, uh, it's it's very good. I don't know what to add here, Dave. Any any other thoughts? Well, yeah, I, I, I agree. I'm not sure about... Put up the lens fill again, Alex. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm not sure about that, only because of the black area sort of to the left of the left lens. Um, I might have chosen a different color. I might have even gone with green uh, just to really sort of fulfill the, the feeling of it. Yeah, one, once again, way too tight. Uh, needs to be opened up. Um, but again, I would have liked to have seen something in the lens. You know, mm -hmm. when you think of, of, of sunglasses, most of them are so reflective um, and mirrored. So something can be put into them to sort of make the viewer feel something. Um, cool picture of glasses, but what, what is the viewer seeing when they look at this? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I want to see something that makes me look at it and go, what's that? Who, who is it? Wow, that's great. And that's what I want to see. So, um, you know, whether it's done in Photoshop or real, it doesn't matter as long as it looks real and elicits an emotion. Uh, and where this is really cool, and those are sort of neat, you know, that whole translucent kind of green thing going on, um, there needs to be more to it. There really does. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, it, I don't know, Dave, did you see that uh, link which Bill Cahill posted? Uh, uh, no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, well, it's slow, it's too slow, but anyway, there is a word uh, in the sunglasses with like a uh, little gradient uh, in the middle. Well, it, angle is different, but the idea is that's like a dark uh, glass with uh, like long gradient somewhere here on each of the glass, which looks pretty cool, so maybe something here like this. Yeah, you know, a, a circular gradient might have worked to give an illusion of a curl to the frame. Yeah, like elliptical, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a, a, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you would have asked me what an elliptical gradient was yeah. a year ago, I would have had no freaking clue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably would have. One of the one of the biggest challenges I think of shooting sunglasses, just from a product standpoint, especially if you're really if you're looking at it from the perspective of trying to sell the product, you really need to represent the product to what the potential customer or consumer is purchasing. So I think you need to, that's part of the challenge I think with sunglasses is with lenses because they are, they're both reflective and they're transparent. Um, and so I don't think you want to necessarily give off the illusion that the lenses are completely nothing but mirrored when they are you know, they are transparent as well. That's something that I struggled with with my photo as well mm -hmm. because I had basically a light source behind the lenses with the fire um, and with them being reflective. So maybe even if he just copied some of the texture from the background um, and put that on a low opacity on the lens to somewhat show that they're also transparent. Like yeah, same, good, same good point. Product, I see. Mm -hmm. Really good point. And something yeah. I struggled with uh, a lot. Um, but, you know, the lenses I was working with, my God, when, when I finally shot them for real, uh, there, was, there was no background coming through those damn things. Right. Uh, but, but I wanted something to come through. I'm going to keep working on it. I'll get to where I want with it. But, uh, um, but you're absolutely right, Jeff. You know, to give that, that feeling that what the viewer is looking at is real is really important. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Good thoughts. Uh, let's jump to this one. Uh, I didn't see the name, so I'm sorry, guys, because uh, my head can't fit. <laughs> I mean, I, I just can't remember. Uh, it's on the forum, I mean, the after. And it, it's cool, too, when we have it on the file name, like I always mention. Very nice shot, uh, Lost in the City. It kind of gives that kind of idea of, uh, you know, city with all those... Um, bright and colorful lights all around. I like it. The only thing, thing uh, that bothers me a little bit, this line, it's kind yes. of, uh, the, it's going on just light city lights on the background, which blue goes straight, straight on the where watches and the sunglasses ends and this. I would probably move this line on the background to be somewhere here. And it just will I think it will play better. They, they, what, what do you think about composition? What I, what I thought was really cool was I read the description of this one that he took mm -hmm. some, some, uh, something in the background and poked a bunch of holes in it 
to mm-hmm. sort of create the look of a city light. Um, and I thought that was, I just sat back and went, wow, that's yeah. something I would have never thought of. Um, I would have liked it a little bit more random. Um, you know, uh, even though buildings are very horizontal and vertical, um, it, you know, some lights are off, some lights are on, so maybe a little bit more of a random pattern uh, going on in that. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to use this sort of technique in something I do in the future for sure because that was, that was really great. I, I appreciated that a lot. But, yeah, my, my eye goes right to that one light line. Uh, as opposed to the sunglasses, so um, maybe a little bit more dispersal of the pattern, um, is so to sort of bring the focus back to the sunglasses. Yeah, the, have you seen that uh, growth video I posted? Yeah, that's uh, what it reminded me of. It's, yeah. uh, Dave, that's probably the idea came, uh, let me show it here, uh, not the video, but just a screenshot from the video. Uh, guys, it was a video, it's not uh, like a still shot, but they did all the city on the background, just cardboard with holes in it and with different lights. Yeah, and that's and, and you can immediately tell that's a that's Chicago, Chicago. Yeah. 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 yeah, because, that's because that's of that diamond cool. in the middle. I don't know what building yeah. that is, but that's Chicago. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah. something I'm definitely going to play with in the future. Yeah, it's on actually it's on footage.com uh, on under inspirational stuff that video. Uh, guys, uh, Curtis and Car Productions. They did a great job. So yeah, great stuff. Alrighty, let's jump to the next one. No, it's yours, right? That's why, yeah. Black and white. Yeah, Zenia, when, when she seen it, said, wow, I love idea. Uh, what, what she asks you uh, to send a high resolution or at least higher than this, uh, she can show you something on post-production because she has some ah. you know, kind of fixes in her mind. Because I, I got the idea, it's pretty cool. Uh, this part is uh, black, right, and this part is white. Oh, sorry, opposite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, opposite, exactly opposite. Yeah, my eyes still working, but not probably. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, what she said, uh, she would fix, uh, you know, that, uh, for example, this uh, white, like a rim light, maybe, and uh, this cleaned, you know, these little things uh, all around. Uh, maybe okay. a l- little bit more dramatic gradient. They look pretty cool. Well, it, it's fine on the ground, but I would, personally, I would do uh, a little bit more brighter uh, on the middle somewhere, or maybe not the middle, but, uh, so more contrast uh, gradient on the background. Okay. Uh, but other than that, pretty cool shot. Well, you know I'll be sending it to her, like, right away. <laughs> 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 Yeah, um, my, my thought was maybe sort of, you know, the left lens is totally white and the right lens is totally black. Maybe a gradient from the left to the black, uh, left to the right, I should say, to sort of give some detail within that. And maybe just a few more highlights on the uh, right earpiece uh, to sort of give some depth to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, you like know... Like an edge light or something? Pardon me? Like an edge light along the yeah the yeah some something that gives some details to, to it that, that that makes it pop out and gives it that 3D look as opposed to just right. flat the way it is now, um, and of course you know maybe something else in the frame um, that would elicit more than just a picture of sunglasses, um, but you know that's that's just me you know bikinis um, whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> naked girls. Let's move to naked girls. Bikini is not. <laughs> I would try uh, talking about Alex said with the background. I would try maybe almost doing a yin and yang type thing and actually doing a black to white gradient opposite of the oh, themselves. Ah, cool idea. That's cool. Yeah, yeah like, be like fully white, like. Not well, cool, it's darker well, here, yeah. and then it goes to right. brighter over here. Right. Let's say like diagonal uh, gradient feeling from completely yeah. dark to brighter, 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 brighter here. Right. So completely so white in the upper right corner, completely black in the bottom right. left corner. Yeah, huh? and somewhere transition uh, somewhere uh, right here. Right? Yeah. You know, it may be cool. Right. Yeah. yeah, cool idea. I like that. That's not bad, yeah. 
Yeah, you know, I, I would also put uh, color in the background, so to contrast with the uh, black and white glasses. Well, then it won't be called mm. black white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but color is always good. But that's me. I, I always love color. Yeah, yeah I, love, I love the color too. The last couple of shots I've done in the last few weeks have been black. I mean, last week the speaker shot was black. Um, I had another one that was a dark kind of image. But actually, I yeah, I, don't, I call this black and white. I I kind of I'm thinking it should be called black or white. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> afterthoughts. Okay. Thank you, no. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Let's jump to the next one. Uh, Ron, it's yours, right? Las right. Vegas. <coughs> Have you been, I mean, you didn't travel to Las Vegas, right, this few weeks not, ago? Uh, not recently, <laughs> no. Not, I've had that little sign sitting upstairs for about three years, wondering what the hell I'd ever do with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice shot of composition, uh, kind of cool. What, what I would probably do here, uh, again, play with depth of field more, because I like, well, if it's sunglasses, uh, maybe I even leave, leave them here. But I would definitely blur out uh, this sign. So it will be still visible, kind of Las Vegas feel, or it might be even visible that it was Las Vegas, but not in full focus. Uh, so kind of try to separate, uh, like, foreground and background of this composition. Uh, that I probably would do. Maybe getting a little bit closer, let's say, like this, and the focus somewhere. Right here. You know, I, I, lately I was shooting with Instagram, uh, and I don't know if you tried or not. Uh, you can add uh, that kind of uh, blur, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, field yeah. feel in there. So I, I kind of like this effect. Uh, and well, in, in in studio photography and in, in products, we do a lot of that kind of stuff too. So I'll probably just Instagram here, <laughs> you know, and put focus right here, and uh, the rest will be a little blur. And this is how we did it. It's full, uh, I mean, all done with uh, just light painting? No, no. There's one light on the left-hand side. It's a big box light. And then the right-hand light, I started to light it with the right-hand side. I didn't like the result. So I just turned the light off and left it there as a reflector. So I had a white reflector on the right, one light on the left-hand side. And then after I shot the shot, the glasses, these are whopping $4 glasses. Um, <laughs> they're a pair of blue blockers that I got on sale at Walmart. And... Uh, Fundamentally, they're, they're neither really good reflectors, nor are they really good transparent. They're, they're kind of in that area where I can't get anything on either side of them. First, I thought I'd get a nice reflection on everything. Threw the towel in on that because they don't reflect with a damn. So um, I came back and then decided to put a light behind them so I could see through them. And then my dichotomy was I was trying to keep the earpieces not in the glasses themselves. Obviously, one of them had to end up there eventually. But I was trying to keep the left hand one out of the actual glasses so I got a nice color field out of it. And that was that was the problem I was having. And then I ended up with that little the right hand well, you know, the right hand earpiece kind of sticking out there by itself, but I didn't have anything to do with it. I came damn close to pulling off the right hand piece altogether and letting you figure out where the hell it was. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what, what I might have done is maybe rotate them um, so they're up in a natural frame and angle them or lean them against that Las Vegas sign to give a diagonal, um, yeah. sort of maybe matching the currency that gonna, gets there. Then what happens is you see whatever's on the other side, you see right through them. So oh. you, have, you, have, you have to put that. That was the problem. I couldn't get anything to reflect off of them. You see right through those little suckers. By the way, did you notice the currency? Those are all thousands. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you actually were to read the the piece across the top of it, it looks like it says United States of America, but what it actually says is the untied states of anemia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I one thing, a, a couple things I really love in this shot are the dice and the reflection off of that little Las Vegas sign. Um, really cool colors. Um, especially in the dice. I dig that a lot. Um, but uh, you've got so much going on in this shot that, that, that getting it all to work yeah. um, is, is so hard. Um, my, my only big problem with this image is the background. Um, sort of choppy, sort of uh, weird light going on sort of everywhere. Um, 
maybe the black and the chips should be pulled out a little bit more, but um, the only the only real problem I have is the background, which is sort of sort of strange on my monitor. I'm I'm not sure if I'm really calibrated right either. <laughs> it was it's purely gray, but it was running from white on the left to a darker gray on the upper right. So it was it was a gradient caused by the the large light. It's sitting on a piece of plastic, which is um, uh, you know it's it's like a continuous background piece of plastic. Mm -hmm. It's very thin though. It's like a I don't know, parchment paper, but it's made out of white plastic. Right, right. So it, it gave a natural gradient, so I just went with the gradient. The extra, like I say, the extra light was, I had to get some light through the glasses. They, were, they just became dark brown. But by the way, if you ever need them, I have dice in about 12 colors, maybe 18 colors, and I have them in sizes ranging from 6 inch squares down to less than an eighth of an inch. Wow. Yeah, I've got a whole crap load from Vegas. I go and collect, uh, you know, they scratch them up a little bit and hand them to me. Um, yes. but I've got them from every casino out there, I think. I have about 400 pairs of, of wow. Vegas dice. Uh, that's oh, just, yeah. Yeah, that's just got, Vegas dice. I have other dice, too. I've got about 12, so, okay, yeah, I act with that. <laughs> you, you got me. <laughs> uh, I found these odd because of the one. The one's really an odd, oddball style on this. Yeah, I've, I've never seen that before, sure. Mm -hmm. But the colors match the glasses. That's why I went with them. Yeah. All right. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Dave. Hey, Alex, I'm going to have to get out of here in a few minutes. Um, sure. If you want to go to my image so everybody can tear yes. it apart. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I guess. It's right here. Well, well uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I like it, and I don't know what to say uh, on about what I don't like here. So, <laughs> no, really. Uh, you're, well, you're very yeah. kind. Uh, well. <laughs> there's a lot of things I'd like to change on it. Uh, no, well, but, so tell us. Let's critique it then. Um, I, I, I'm still not happy with the lenses, even though um, those lenses are uh, a shot I took. Um, uh, through all the other iterations, they were really just Photoshop created, um, especially with the highlights that I put in them. Um, so what I did was, um, I, I, you know, do you, are you guys familiar with the shooting stage that Alex and I shoot with? Yeah. 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 Well, what I decided to do was turn the skull around, shoot from behind the stage, and shoot over the up curl, um, so that the up curl is covering the lenses. Um, so it's perfectly white into the lens. Um, and I, I did that last night, uh, and, and this is what I got. The shadows around the lens um, that you can see to sort of add some depth to it um, were put in. Um, it was that, you know, I don't even know what it's called. You double click on the layer, and this option comes out and says add inner glow or add yeah, inner yeah. shadow or whatever. And I said, oh, cool, so I'll give it a shot. Um, the the heart that you see sort of hanging there was actually hung there. Um, uh, so it, it was held with a little rod, and I cloned it out. Um, I'm still not happy with the lenses. They don't look real to me. Um, uh, but uh, um, I, I, I don't know what else to do with it. I'm going to keep pounding on it to try to get it right. But the background, the shadows, everything you see are, is actually a photograph. The only thing really fake in this is, uh, is the, uh, the lenses themselves. You, you couldn't get uh, that the reflection you, you liked, right? I mean, you liked there? Uh, that, that was a problem. They were reflecting something else, and you, you just can't make it look as you like. That's why? But I, I, you know, I, I just don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I look at this and I, you know, of course I took it, so I look at it and the first thing I go to are the lenses in the frames and they just don't look right to me. Uh, yeah, you need to post it up, lighten it up next time so we can kind of guess as, as, as you, you know. What well, there, to, there, are, there are a billion lighting setups in this thing. Oh. And <laughs> I, I, okay. but, um, but all, all that really was was um, when I shot the frames were... 
to be honest with you, the, the frames, the, the lenses themselves were ambient light in the room at the time when I, when I shot it. Uh, it was like a four-second exposure. Um, uh, so there were no there were no Einsteins, there were no speed lights. It's just I set the camera up behind the shooting stage, shot down at it, and this is what I got. So um, uh, are the lenses normally orange? Oh God, yeah. They're, okay. these, they're called fire lenses by Oakley, um, which is they, they sort of go from yellow to orange to red to green, uh, and they're really mirrored. Yeah. I, you can't see behind them if your life depended on them. Um, so uh, I'm going to keep working on it. I, I really want to get, because I think this is a good picture. I think it has a lot of potential, um, but it's still just not right. What about the heart reflecting in the, in the lenses? I was thinking about that, um, but I thought it might be too much on the nose. Um, pardon me? I just well, lied something. Oh, I, th I thought somebody else said something. Um, you know, when, when, with the concept I was trying to go with, uh, it wasn't as much of a, uh, you know, a reflection into it as a look at it. Uh, no, it's it's that, a color match. Yeah, yeah. Um, and of course that, that that heart that you see is really a uh, cookie cutter. Um, it's it's pretty big. I mean, it's I'll go grab it, but it was red, so I had to alter the color to get it to where I wanted it to be. Um, but uh, um, I like the idea, but I'm still not really thrilled with the outcome. Um, so I've I've got to work on it more. Yeah, you know, I would like to see some gloss in the lenses. Maybe not a reflection, but some glossy stuff or reflected white, maybe, or something. You mean yeah. on the lenses or where? Or here? In, in the lenses, because they are made. I, I, I want to. Uh, I really expect to see them some like, like gloss or like something uh, glossy. Yeah, something, something maybe to give it some depth. Um, to maybe not, and that's a really great idea, and I might go with that. Uh, you know, uh, Tim uh, actually said, uh, he sent me, he edited this a little bit and sent it to me, and there was some really white highlights in it yeah. um, that, that didn't look really great, but was a good idea to try to make it look more realistic. So um, I'll, I'll definitely pound on it more. Dave, this, you remember I was talking about that uh, link uh, Dave, uh, oh, sorry, Bilka Hill right. sent, right. it's uh, nor, nor, Norimchi, norimchi.com, uh, the guy was shooting. You see, I think uh, this is probably artificial, uh, the gradient kind of thing, but it looks cool, you see here uh, on the glass. It's, it's not, uh, not going to work at your uh, angle, but I just kind of want to show before you leave. Uh, no, and really a good idea for my shot um, to add, you know, some curved um, highlight into it that gives the depth that, that might, because my lenses look sort of flat here. Um, they, they sort of need something that sort of curves into it to give that feeling of a curve. So mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll go something down, down that road. But uh, yeah, I, I see a wraparound well, lens on, on the one that's closest to us on the left. But the right hand one looks totally flat to me. Yeah, I I, I agree. Um, I I tried adding highlights into it and everything, um, but it's just it's still not right, and I've got to work on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some gradient. Like the colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, thank you, Dave. Great shot as usual. <laughs> Even you. though you can work on it, but yeah. Uh, for me, uh, colors plays with this. Uh, you know. And that's why I thought, oh, you know, that's how it should be. I even didn't think about gradient because I thought it was the idea to show, like, you know, like blind uh, sight of that uh, skull. So, <laughs> You know, one thing I've learned through all this, um, I've always shot just purely from the heart uh, up until we started doing these hangouts. Um, and what came up is what I got. Uh, and if it was had some flaws in it, I just let them slide. And I'll still keep some of that uh, to keep it really personal. 
Um, but it, it, th these whole things with all you guys have made me think about it a lot more. Um, and I appreciate that a lot. All right. Thank you. So let's jump to the next one. Are you staying with us for a while, or you do you know, Dave? Um, I've got a few more minutes, but i got to get out of here by at least 10. Okay, so just tell us when you leave. Okay, this one, uh, Nick's your... That's me. Your, sorry. Oh. Faro, yeah. Uh, can Spiro. you introduce... It's how? Spiro? Spiro. Spiro. Yeah. Spiro. Can you introduce yourself just like quickly, because you, you missed a little bit introduction. I w uh, yes, <laughs> I, I couldn't <laughs> understand how to join, but uh, okay, uh, I'm a photographer, but uh, usually I do interior and 360 panoramas, that's my specialty, so this thing is kind of new for me too. Where do you live? Uh, in Sofia, Bulgaria. Oh, I see. I see the door behind you, and it reminds me Ukraine so much, so I said, well, I, <laughs> I should be somewhere <laughs> close to it, really, because that was exactly like I used to live, you know? Yeah, uh, uh, um, that's uh, because everybody's sleeping here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they, they'll think uh, I'll talk in my sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Nick. Um, so let's, let's see here. Uh, Cool, cool idea, uh, kind of that wet uh, look, and uh, well, I even don't mind the crop; it looks nice. The only question um, which first strikes my mind: if I see the sky blue, why it's so wet? You know, well, m maybe it was just uh, f rain finished, uh, and then why it's so dark? But again, it's kind of has nothing to do with the technical side of this shot, uh, and but it looks cool. Uh, I can show how. Uh, Nick did it. Uh, it was so creative. I mean, the approach to this. I know uh, you may think about Photoshop, but it's not a Photoshop, right? It's oh, real. It's presenter. one shot. The whole thing is one shot. Yeah. So you see how we got sky, which is cool. You know. Yeah, uh, that's that's the reason I don't. Uh, I didn't get them the whole uh, glasses because it's it's impossible with this curve. It's impossible to get this in uh, to reflect one just one screen. I, I had to fiddle more with this, but I didn't have the time for this. Right. So it's uh, th this part of the glasses are reflected. The other the other part is black. Yeah, yeah, I know. I I deal with the same glasses, so yeah. I know how it, how to uh, how to curve. I'll show how I did it. Dave, what do you think? Um. Wow. Uh, you know, for somebody who's going so far out their comfort zone, this is great. Um, the only thing I probably would have liked to see is the reflection elongated a little bit down more. Um, the comp here is a little bit um, uncomfortable, um, but I think if the bottom part of this with the reflection was a little bit longer, it would become a lot more comfortable. Um, but, you know, with... With this being one shot, bravo, man! You got my respect. That that's really yeah. great. Yeah, that's cool. And with that, Alex, I gotta I gotta call it a night, man. I gotta get going here. I've got okay. some other stuff I gotta take care of. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, take care, Dave. Thank you. But, uh, good night, gents, and I'll good talk night. to you next week. Good night. Thanks, Dave. Are we gonna have a hangout next week? Yeah, Alex, are you gonna be able to next week? Well, I will be in San Francisco Wednesday, right? And uh, I'll, I'll probably go online, but it won't be a studio hangout. We will probably do some, well, if it will be possible. So we probably won't have studio hangout next Wednesday. Yeah. We'll have something else. Cool. Maybe so Wednesday, I'll, Tuesday, you I'll know. Come up, come up with a really tough topic that takes us two weeks to shoot. Yeah. There you go. Well, it can be... It can be food, food shot, right? We have the CD and all like it. Uh, some interesting food shot. It's very new to us, probably, right? We never did food, and it's still studio right. photography, and it's interesting. So, uh, well, God, I hate food. No. Uh, you hate food? <laughs> <laughs> and Tim and I suggested that food was a good idea. 
Yeah, with food, the problem, the biggest problem with food is that you need to be or to have a good uh, food style. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. It's hard to get something nice without food styles. It will yeah. look uh, just relatively ugly because <laughs> yeah. it's like not photographer job. But uh, what else can we shoot, guys? If not food. No, I would like it with uh, me. I'll give it a shot. What the hell? Okay. So maybe food then. Break, okay. break out the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do some food shot. Uh, like interesting, not just, uh, well, it may be one plate, but uh, let's think about something so, else. Anyway. So we're trying to do this for, we're not trying to do this for next Wednesday, are we? Because yeah. I don't know if I got time for that. <laughs> yeah, you too, yeah. No, I'm I for sure, even if I would be Wednesday here, I, I had no time to shoot it anyway. Yeah, so yeah. let's make it two weeks. We'll just skip next week and... Uh, yeah. You know, just see what we come up with. Yeah, because I think next week, I think that conference goes to like 9 p.m. or so at night. And yeah. That's Western wow. time, right? So that's, that's going to be like midnight almost in, on the East yeah, Coast. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Well, listen, guys, let me go. Alex, have fun. All right, Dave. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> your, 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 yeah, you too. Uh, <laughs> enjoy the conference, Alex, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you. Right. Hey, Thank Bye. you, Dave. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Dave. <laughs> well, Steve, your dog missed Dave as well. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, no, that's fine. He, I mean, it looks like he's... saying bye. Yeah. Okay. Then jump to this one. Jeff, it's yours, right? Yes. Uh, wow. wow. I can only say wow. <laughs> uh, that's, that's crazy. That just <laughs> look at what he did. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, that's just crazy. It's just crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Nuts. Yeah, I don't know I why. Uh, well, technically. Te te well, yeah, what go is, ahead. What is that? What did you. Um, it's just isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle. Yeah, and what uh, is this, uh, <laughs> this piece uh, which uh, sunglasses sits on? What is it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually. I feel bad because. My sister gave it to me for a present, but <laughs> uh, it's, it's basically just a sunglass holder. Um, normally, you have to uh, you have to actually fold in the the frames for it to actually sit on the mm -hmm. the nose on the bridge. There's a little piece that you can't see, um, a little channel that it sits in. Um, but I wanted to show off the the logo and the brand, so I extended them and just kind of, I photoshopped it out, but there's a boom hanging above that there's fishing line, basically, where uh, that's what's holding it up on the nose, because right now they're just kind of floating, which is the thing that bugs me the most about the photo, is because it, mm -hmm. it bothers me that they're just floating, just out there, but... Well, yeah, you need to really, for me, I mean, it's hard to notice immediately, at least like this, because for me it's almost like sitting uh, on right here. So yeah, which is really cool. I like how the sunglasses look. All these reflections, uh, even this uh, highlight here. Well, it's it's cool. And you see, like like you said, uh, you did it uh, yeah. less transparent, so it, it gives the idea that it's well, it's it's not yeah. completely transparent and it's not completely dark, right? Right. Yeah. And one of the one of the issues that I found was. Um, the lenses reflecting the tabletop surface, mm -hmm. like the lo the hard edge yes, yes. of which which was really I had to basically Photoshop it out. So it's it's several layers of kind of the fire reflect you know reflecting the fire as well as the fire behind the lenses that mm -hmm. allowed me to get rid of them. The actual probably the only thing that's true about the lenses is that highlight and kind of the dark spot on the right lens. On this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's yeah, true. It, looks, it <laughs> looks very natural, yeah. Right. Yeah, and I remember it. how... Uh, go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, you can see it, it aligns with the reflection on the actual frame itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. How many I was shots trying to shoot it. Yeah, no, go ahead. Sorry, I'm trying um, to... Is it it is, it? Yeah, the glasses... Um, It's probably two or three, and then I cleaned, I cleaned up the reflections quite a bit because the the black stripe, um, 
it wasn't completely straight. It's kind of that uneven surface. So I had to clean up that straight edge. Um, and then the lenses is, you know, it's probably three shots. And the background is probably two or three shots, too. So um, it's kind of, it's a good bit of compositing. Yeah, this is the lighting setup if you didn't see it. Yeah. So, I mean, pretty much you can see I had a giant reflector uh, with two lenses. I was trying to get gradients on both of the, the lenses, which I was able to do, but it was that hard edge from the table ending mm -hmm. that kind of screwed that over. Yeah, I was trying to shoot on the table uh, that uh, Ray-Ban or whatever you have, and it's it, no way I could shoot it with uh, real reflection. So I took right. out the table, took out everything, and it was, I'll show you in a Right. In several minutes, how it is. It's, it's completely so, hanging. So did you shoot? Did you shoot the fire first, or did you shoot with the glasses sitting there first? No, I shot the glasses first, and then I actually switched out these glasses for a similar-looking pair of aviators that was like five dollars. Um, because I was hoping to actually just steal the lenses off of those, mm -hmm. so it would actually be realistic. Ah. Um, but the glasses melted before... <laughs> Faster than you can shoot them, right? Yeah, before I could get a, a usable photo, so... <laughs> well, very cool shot. I don't know, did you leave this area uh, for purpose? I mean, that left... Uh, sorry, right? Uh, yeah, area. no, I thought it was a little weird, too. I tried maybe yeah, I would adding... I probably here. crop it somewhere like yeah. this, I don't know. <laughs> I tried adding smoke or something over there, and... Yeah, I agree. It, it could use a crop for sure. Yeah, but at least, I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's needed there because uh, uh, some glasses look there, but it's too dark, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Maybe some smoke, really. Yeah, smoke, yeah. Well, cool shot. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks. I, I just love how creative you come into this assignment. <laughs> that, that's amazing. Okay, let's jump to next one. Again, uh, I don't have a name here. I'm sorry, guys. I I mine. Oh, it's yours. Yeah. Excellent, Mike. So, let's talk about this. Uh, I think. Well, I I love everything. Uh, the idea of this highlights and how the only thing is missing for me maybe. Maybe it's real, maybe not. Why you don't see the the second, uh, how you call it, that uh, leg or hand or whatever? It should yeah, be there. Yeah, I actually uh, removed that because it was just causing a visual issue for me tailing out on the other side because I had it. Um, if you look at the shot that I also included of how I shot mm -hmm. it on the table, it tailed out at the end of the bottom of the lens, and it just visually was distracting for me. So I actually pulled that side off and uh, it just worked better for me. So I just felt like it was more emerging out of the darkness than having that tail end and uh, photoshopping it out. So that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but somehow it tells that, you know, something is missing because when you look at it, it's like, oh, does it have broken? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, the rest is, uh, is it, uh, it's not real reflection, right, uh, on the lenses? That is actually, but what I added to that, which was um, causing an issue which I had, was uh, that took the sharpness way down, which actually, it helped out, take a lot of like the spots off, because even though how much you can wipe it down, you're always going to get marks on it, spots, so mm -hmm. I took the sharpness way down in uh, Lightroom, and it helped out, and then I went through and spot removed a lot of stuff, but that's actually the, the real reflection from it, it's not... I didn't add any gradient or anything like that. Yeah, that was actual shot. Yeah, that's a shot. Two light sources or how many? Um, it's actually yeah one two and then I had another bear um bear uh, strobe coming in on the right hand side to give me more light in the front there, which gives me like that orange glow on the on the, the front side of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then that glare is actually added with a uh, uh, no light factory. Um, yeah. That. So that's just, you know, in post I added that in there just to give it, you know, a little bit more depth to it. On um, the background I did add um, a little bit on the left side. I duplicated the corner just to give it a little bit more uh, visually, 
I wanted to really light this thing all the way around, but, I mean, it was tough. I was moving those lights around to get, um, you know, perfectly lit how I wanted those shades. So I was, you know, moving those lights all around in a circle trying to get the best uh, lighting spots for it, but, yeah. Basically, those soft boxes hitting the, the water. And what I used for the water, which was great, I used I diluted a little uh, glycerin in it, and that helped uh, beat it up and actually keep, uh, you know, the form of those spots on that black glass that I used for it. So that helped out a lot, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah glycerin. glycerin. Yeah, I, I used that in a, a beer shot that we shot several weeks ago, that Bill K. Hill. I think the week before or something, he had made a suggestion. He had said, oh, yeah, I use glycerin, like, yeah, I think yeah, one to one ratio with water. That was great. Yeah, it works um, great. It does. I'm just wondering where I can buy those glycerin in big uh, amounts. Wal Walgreens. Wal Walgreens or Rite Aid. But yeah, it's just uh, small bottles. Yeah, if I need, like, uh, big... 10 gallons, for example, yeah. where I can buy 10 gallons. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know. Ten yeah, gallons, I, I don't, I can't help with it, Alex. Yeah, yeah, I know. So. But it should be this, because it's it not expensive. Like, uh. No, it was like, I think I, it was like maybe eight ounces. I got, I, I got on sale, like two eight-ounce bottles for like three bucks or something like that. Yeah, you know, it's like with uh, methanol. You know that, uh, the spirit methanol? They sell it in small, uh, to, to like to add uh, to fuel and that kind of stuff. Uh, and right. it costs, I don't know, like, Half half uh, gallon probably ten dollars will cost, but you can buy it. Uh, I used to buy I don't know uh, for a few bucks for gallon because yeah. it was not for consumer, you know, not like on store. So it's not, not expensive at all. It just find the Alex look in Lowe's or Home Depot for the methanol. It's a paint. It's a paint by product. You can buy yeah, yeah, by the gallon there. No, no, I, I, I was getting methanol much cheaper than they sell in, uh, in uh, racing guys, you know, they add to cars, uh, I mean, they had uh, injected to run yeah, faster. Yeah. Actually, that's what I was buying, because I was doing injection in my Subaru, which I had before. Oh. Was pretty cool. what, what are you using methanol for, though? Well, it was, uh, no, not here, not in photography, like I said, in Subaru. Oh, oh. Uh, to inject, inject the intake so it can run mm -hmm. much more uh, timing and uh, well, it's it's cool. <laughs> it runs faster, much faster. Okay. Was this shot on? Uh, was this shot on black glass? Yeah, that was black yeah. glass. So yeah, you can try. Uh, you could try using Rainex on the tabletop too. Yeah. Some wax to get it to bead. Yeah, definitely. That's a good idea. <laughs> and this glare was uh, real or Photoshop? Oh, that's that's what that no light factor. It's it's just one of their effects. They have I mean, there's about probably about 50 presets, but um, sometimes they add some bad lighting. You have to go in and adjust either color. So I adjusted the color to match somewhat of what a sun would be and what the lens reflection. Right. So, but, but that's all uh, in post there. Mm -hmm. Well, but it's, it looks fine. It looks very natural, like sun here, and it's fine to have uh, glare, right? Yeah. So nice. Mike, what do you do? You didn't introduce yourself. What? Oh, I'm uh, based out of New Jersey, freelance photographer. Um, I, I got into more doing uh, product shots from, uh, you know, reading a lot of stuff on Alex's blog. Um, and um, I mainly specialize in portraits, too. Um, and uh, I just uh, love doing this stuff. So that's why I joined you guys. I just like what you guys are doing and feedback, and I think it helps everybody uh, up their game on what they're doing and uh, building things, uh, which product shops, which it can be tricky. So, you know, things like this, you know, doing glasses like this is tricky. As simple as it is, it's, it's, it's tricky to get, so. Yeah. Simpler it look, it may trickier get. Thank you. Glad you joined. Welcome to the club. <laughs> to the club. Okay. Uh, let's jump to the next one. This one. Steven Scott. Steven Scott, are you here, right? No? Yeah, I finally was able to jump in one oh, day. Okay, excellent. Off. Glad to see you. And yeah, you have spot. So, uh, well, pretty cool shot. Kind of love the idea and, uh, well, nice composition. The, uh, I would probably crop it a little bit, uh, not sure, uh, but somehow the bottom is bothering me. Maybe it's too big, I don't know. 
So maybe if, if you go somewhere like this, maybe it will look better, especially uh, what bothers me, this part. But again, it's only me. It, uh, it's just a different feeling. Uh, I love how this gradients uh, on the glasses. Is it real one, you, or you did a little bit photoshopping here? Because I, as I understand, it's just uh, the background uh, comes through it. But those gradients, did you create it? The only thing I did in Photoshop was take some dust off the lenses. I see. So it's, a, nice. it's a one-shot deal. Yeah, and also, uh, see the background is a little bit... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's not clean and it's gradient. It's like, like, like we said before, right? Uh, the gradient is not visible enough and it's not clean enough. So it's somewhere in between. And uh, if it's white, it should be white. If it has gradient, let's make it more visible. Because this corner is darker and it's kind of greenish, which is maybe even fine. Just make it a bit more visible. What else, guys? Do any any input on this? Any thoughts? I think definitely uh, cropping it in or putting on an angle, pitching it on an angle. Hello? I, I didn't hear, uh, Steve, what you said. Uh, I did this one totally with uh, basically LED flashlight. So, that's well, the, so the it was only one light source? The gradient on the back is uh, four six light LEDs that were arranged around the bottom. The uh, main light oh, on the front nice. was a uh, a lot light with a, a daylight bulb in it, mm -hmm. and it was a five second exposure. Oh, I see. Well, nice, nice with uh, small lighting still. Steen, what do you do? What, what brought you here? <laughs> well, I've dabbled in photography on and off over the years. Uh, when uh, film kind of died, my uh, I stopped buying film, bought a point and shoot. From my birthday last year, I bought a, a uh, Canon T3i for myself, and I'm trying to get back into looking at the digital side of photography. I've never really used uh, lights. I've always been a natural light photographer. So mm -hmm. this is a new experience for both with the camera and the lighting. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. OK, let's jump to the next one. Uh, this, again. There is no name, light brown, uh, only the name of the image, no name of photographer. So uh, I would say it's a good start. Uh, it's hard to critic it because uh, it's, well, it's just, just a shot. <laughs> uh, I don't see that uh, photographer, photographer really work on lighting and did, something is worked, something is not. Uh, so just keep going. I don't know. I think this is natural light. From yeah. a window, maybe. Yeah, but... I think you're right. Like, just this white and this is a table and white ends right here. I don't know. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I don't care. I mean, we should so. kind of look at what kind of light is it, right? We just need to look at the result. It can be done in right. front of the window and it will still can look uh, pretty interesting. But no, I mean, uh, the light is uh, realistic. But uh, the white part, maybe it's Photoshop because uh, it it seems artificial. The white. Mm. I don't know. I don't see any Photoshop here, honestly. I think. I would have liked to see the angle of the the camera coming down. I feel like I'm too on top yeah. of the the, right. the glasses. So a lot yeah. lot of things can be done here. So keep going. Uh, good start. Just walk a little bit more. Uh, towards your kind of idea of the shot and submit next assignments. <laughs> okay, let's jump to the next one. Uh, Jerry, Jerry not with that, but he submitted the shot, which is really cool. And, uh, well, it's a great shot. I like the lighting. Uh, I like all those gradients uh, everywhere. Uh, it's pretty cool when it's, 
I think it's real like semi transparency of the lens, which is great. Uh, I'm not sure uh, was it will it benefit or not from the let me show you from reflection similar to this one, for example, from yeah. that side. Uh, this, like I said, I think it's uh, artificial. Maybe not, but uh, if we add something like this uh, on the Jerry's shot, well, maybe it will look better. Maybe not. Maybe if we add just gradient somewhere here, just a little bit, so it will be visible that it's kind of glossy lens, and then it's still semi-transparent. That's probably what I would do. Yeah. If if you ask me, like what, how I would do it different, I would try to add. Uh, uh, brighter area over here, and then it will go gradient to dark, exactly like this here. That's the only thing. The rest is great. Alex? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, he had asked for, he wanted to do something as a play on the name with the word Ray-Ban, because it's banning rays, and so he was asking how to do something in Photoshop that would, he could use the same picture without having to reshoot it, because I don't know if he has the glasses anymore or not. So I put this thing together. Can you look at my screen? Yes, I see. It. I just did it real quick. So it's low res, but that's an idea of what he could do if he wanted to do something like banning the rays. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, interesting. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Let me click it. I would really see the setup of this shot. It's very interesting to me. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't do a shot. I took his picture and I just. No, I mean got... his shot. Oh yeah, yeah. It's really, really, really perfect, man. I, yes, I, I really it like is. It. Yeah, I think uh, what I see here, I can probably reverse engineer it. Uh, the reflector from top and the reflector from the bottom, well, maybe not exactly from top, like top and uh, front and bottom and front, just for this area. Uh, maybe uh, the picture is rotated. Why rotated? Well, why? Uh, be uh, because I I if uh, the glasses are upright, then uh, you have uh, uh, white from the left, white from the right. Right. Let's say if it's not direct light, we just have a big piece of uh, some diffuser mm -hmm. at the bottom, and we highlight it from through it. Let's yeah. say it will just reflect exactly uh, like this at the bottom, and same thing uh, on the on top. So you think he hung this on fishing line, possibly? Uh, yeah. Looks like. It doesn't look like it's, it was sat. On it, on it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was photoshopped out all the stuff. Maybe it was even like on bright table. I don't know. And then it's it's hard to tell uh, if you don't know how much post production was done because post production can screw uh, any thoughts about reverse. I mean, any reverse engineering, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But it's great, great shot. Already, let's jump to this one. Uh, Sylvain Miller. Uh, yeah, he he didn't. Join, but he he tried. I think <laughs> uh, so. This the main concern here. Uh, cool shot. Uh, the main concern is uh, Photoshop. It should be uh, more post-production, just cleaning uh, of everything. This part, I know he did. A, uh, this is real. Uh, the sparkles. I mean the uh, reflection from like a star. Mm, hole made in uh, in some dark uh, uh, panel, which is pretty cool. But everything should be really cleaned. Uh, and I would add something right here, I mean, on this lens as well, because yeah. it's kind of, it's like no lens there, looking at it, because it's all bright. And yeah, definitely we need something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The rest, I don't know. Any, any thoughts? It looks a little hot. Yeah, just to agree. Yeah, yeah. My more texture. Little yeah. blown out. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's probably it. Again, maybe not that tight, but it's it's a crop. It's not how camera makes it. So no problems here. Let's jump to the next one. Okay, Paul, it's yours, right? Yes. Very clean, very well. I, I like it. It's like the style I like really. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, I've seen different colors and uh, everything. I don't know. Do I have? Yeah, I have the setup lighting setup here, which is you see pretty simple lighting setup, but the result is is just great, really. It's perfect product shot. Uh, they would say 
but it's need to have some drama, make it girl, which is very true. <laughs> uh, and I agree with Dave uh, on that part. But if uh, it doesn't have it, uh, let's look at like technical side. And well, for the product, it's very good. Uh, I'm not sure about highlights. Again, because we see through the lens, I think it's fine not to have any other shadows highlights because, for example, this, this shadows, it gives us completely real look of the lens, which is great. Yeah, what I was running into is shooting on that table. I think somebody else mentioned it in one of their shots, too, is you get that edge reflecting yeah. in there. There's just no way to get rid of it. And I thought, well, I could Photoshop it out, but the lenses themselves are a second shot, and it's illuminated from behind. Mm -hmm. You know, no, the, the side light didn't fire for that. Mm -hmm. And then I just dropped them in. Well, they look very... Which, which edge were you talking about? The edge of the, the table? Yeah, the front edge of the table right, was, would be reflected in the lens. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it would be like some lines. So how did you, not, how did you avoid that then? Uh, the lenses themselves are a second shot, and it, 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 I had the light behind it. Shooting through that, I don't know if you can go back to my setup shot. There, I did a little sweep. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, I, but I, I yeah. just swung that that okay. spotlight behind and shot through that diffused plastic. Oh, and then you don't have the reflection on the front side. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I see. Oh, okay. Cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. I would have. I would like to see it almost. Uh, I love really everything about it. I would love to see the lenses to be photoshopped to be almost the same color, to almost do a monotone uh, all blue, just because I think that would be cool. And then just from a really, really, really super nitpicky point of view, the uh, highlight that runs along the, the left earpiece at mm -hmm. the top, right on the corner, maybe extending that to the, to the end like how the other one is. Yeah, that, I I saw that at afterwards too. And like, I thought about going back and reposting it, and I just kind of <laughs> got like, got lazy. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Paul. It's cool. Okay, we got uh, one more. I just added uh, Muhammad Ali has said this, just probably during the hangout, <laughs> but he, <laughs> he got it. It's good. Uh, well, it's pretty cool. Uh, the only thing, well. It's too bright comparing to the glass. Uh, sorry, it's a glass, white glass. It's a sunglass. Uh, so uh, it should be darkened for sure. And uh, we, I would probably prefer to see more light on the edge and the rim of uh, all around the lens on this part. Similar to this, it looks cool. I mean, the, uh, the metal. And this kind of metal should be right here. It, it can be darker, but at least uh, it should be more uniform. Plus this reflection, I know uh, why it's coming like this. It's hard to get it, but uh, ideally it should go all the way to the end, to the down to the end of the lens. It's fine to have this part dark, but this should go. Uh, that's what probably I would do. So the rest is nice. Any any other thoughts? Who want to say something? <laughs> It feels a little too tight to me on the right, kind of right and upper side of me. Yeah, true. The whole squeeze thing that Dave was talking about. Or pressure points, I think is how he said it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it, it could be because of the brightness of that logo. It does detract. Yeah. It's from, it, my eye keeps, I keep wanting to look away from it, and my eye keeps getting pulled back to, towards it. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this trick. How does it look now? Um, I'm losing detail in the bottom right part. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it's too dark. It's too yeah, dark. It's a little dark down there. Yeah, and I, I don't know why, uh, well, I mean, I was thinking, because uh, the lens uh, kind of reflects something from the upper portion of, let's say, studio surrounding, it should be relatively easy to get that uh, reflection all the way down, probably. Because it's hard when it's down, because it reflects on the table. And then it looks up to be fixed. Mm -hmm. I hope it should be fixed relatively easy. Okay, Mohammed, thank you. That was good.
just keep going and uh, yeah, let me jump to my shots. Uh, I have actually many of them and uh, <laughs> this is almost like as is and uh, like I said before on that post that I was trying to just play with lights and because I never shoot uh, sunglasses before. It was very interesting topic for me. But I got only like, well, we did it less than an hour and I'm going to show you on the capture one uh, a little bit more shots uh, from it. So you'll see and uh, I'm going to tell you how, how I did this exact reflection. It's only one light source here and one reflector. And what tricky, probably the only thing is tricky is uh, the camera. Well, it's not tricky, it's kind of, uh, I, I use that um, uh, large format uh, cam camber and uh, I did uh, tilt uh, front and rear element. So the focus was, even though it was angle shot of the glasses, of some glasses, it was uh, focus, we have focus here, focus here. And uh, for example, this, thing is out of focus, even though it's very, it's basically almost in between, but uh, because when we tilt in lands, we actually reduce in depth of field and we tilt in the focus in plane. So it's kind of look a little bit unusual because of this. So let me do this. I'm going to. Hey Alex, when you do yes. that, does the aperture that you set affect the depth of field as much then? Oh yeah, ap aperture uh, affects us for sure, but. Uh, it's it's right here. Well, I can't move it. I yeah. for sure effects, but you know, with with uh, medium format uh, back and uh, with that kind of thing, and depth of field is is very uh, shallow. I was shooting at f8, and uh, well, oh, wow. so let it's me show high. you the. This is how it looks from the side, uh, and I have another uh, another webcam here there, and I'm going to jump. And I'll show you from that. Okay, do you see it? It's from behind, and I'm going to go there, and I'll show you guys a little bit. So, this is the cone, right? Oops, no. This is the cone. That's. Wow. This is the camera. Uh, Did you make that out of trans lung stuff, that plastic film? Uh, yes, it's, it's a, a cone which I did from the plastic, and this is a camera. You see that uh, tilt and shift. Uh, well, it's probably not really visible, but anyway, it was tilted. And the glass is there. Uh, you see, hanged on that kind of you. connector. Ah. And the problem, because uh, I wanted that angle, uh, I needed uh, to remove all the table, actually everything, to work for me. And the only way, it was a shooting cone. It's, it should be kind of uh, half a cone, basically. I don't, I don't need this part at all, right? It's not playing anything because it's not reflecting. But uh, some glasses were reflecting all this. Starting from the lens, all this, everything was reflected on the lenses. And even this part was a little bit reflecting. So it should be something covered all around. And what yeah, is that? That's the a, ground. Oh, oh, that's the background, okay. Yeah, it's just a piece of... Uh, uh, black paper, basically. Okay. And the light was, uh, let me show you where the light was, is... Uh, okay, I'm online. Yeah, the light was right from here. And uh, I tried to shoot with spot on it, and I tried to shoot with... Uh, the uh, strip box. Strip box was better. I don't know if you have guys time. Uh, I can shoot a little bit just to show you how it changes when we move it uh, all to the cone. Do you like me to shoot it right now, or it's like? Sure. What do you think? Sure. Sure. Go. go ahead. How are you holding the cone up? Just with a couple light stands, or? Well, it's uh, same. Uh, you remember how uh, glasses are holding? Same thing, uh, holding cone. Oh, just for a I see. Yeah, I have on that uh, jewelry, do it to sell jewelry book. Actually, I did this cone for that jewelry book. I have uh, all set, like what you need to buy, how you need to cut it, uh, how, well, all works well through. But if you kind of have engineering in mind, it should be no problem to build that cone, right? I mean, it just oh, right, right, right. 
it's kind Where of did you get the PVC then? The, it's a PVC pipe, isn't it? Like yeah, from yeah. It, it's just a pipe, yeah. yeah. I didn't know you could bend it that far. <laughs> uh, it depends on uh, if uh, you get it not uh, uh, big enough, it, you can bend it. Mm -hmm. Just small one, you know, small. Well, is it loading or not? Oh, man, yeah. something is going on with Capture One. Hey, guys, if I can start it, if I couldn't start, uh, it won't work then. Let me do it. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. I think it started. So, so let's turn it on. And let's turn on the light. The only one light. Okay. And I'm going to share my screen, all application here. And you know, the trickiest part, how you actually uh, work with this camera. I know, if, okay, let, I'll show you, I'll, I'll do some fun. I'll share the whole desktop and I'll show you how uh, to work with this guy. First, uh, you need to set focus, right? There is no viewfinder there. There is nothing. It's just a back. So we go into live view, which look like this. Okay. This is what it sees right now. It, it's like real. You can focus or defocus. Let's say I click, right? It's focusing, and then I move uh, camera dials, go back and forth, and we can go out of focus. Or we can go in the focus, right? And let's say you see it's focus here. I move it more. Okay. So it's here, and if you jump to this portion, it's still relatively in focus. Not that much, but uh, quite acceptable. And if you look here, focus is going away on the handle very fast because of the tilt shift, you know, let no, it's a, it's a tilt, I guess, it's not shift. So when we're done with the focus, we're closing it, and uh, let me move lights. So now I'm pointing a uh, strip box to the beginning of the cone where the lens is connected. We got a shot, and boom. For example, like this, right? It's directly from camera. If we, I move lens, oh, sorry, not lens, uh, strip box closer to the edge of the cone and do the same, it will be completely different look. Like oh, this, yeah. for example. And what's cool, uh, that the cone, it's surrounding everywhere. So we get a nice reflection on uh, the metal. You see, it's all the edge is, is there. And uh, the transparency of, actually, this glass, they have, uh, like, at the end, um, darkening. It's darker uh, on top and brighter at the bottom. Unfortunately, it's not visible here. So it's probably not a good presentation of the product, but uh, I don't want to go that way. And, yeah, I can show you all the type of shots we got. Oh, it's probably the same. That's where I started from, on the table, and this this is part of the table. You see, I have a uh, nice, or maybe not nice, but anyway, I have a reflector here, and uh, the bottom part was always table. There is no way I can shoot it. So I start from just hanging and shooting. Even like this, it looks cool, you know, because of these lines. And so that was it. Let me change screen share. So how do you use that Capture One instead of Lightroom now? Well, with uh, Phase One, it's only way. But Lightroom oh, doesn't work. It's not I a see. camera. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah, it's much faster actually. It's FireWire 800, so it's almost twice as fast as than I have through USB with Canon. Even do you though use do you, are you using like the with your Canon, or you still use the face, uh, the, the Capture One? Well, I like this camera. I like because it's big, yeah. you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> and yeah, obviously I like uh, 
that ability to, to move lands. It gives very interesting shots. For example, for food, hopefully for next assignment, I'll show you how great such lands, food shift lands for food. It does just amazing stuff. So, uh, that was it. Any questions? Are you fine? Okay, we got oh, one hour, 30 minutes. It's pretty cool. I just l let me take a uh, few more minutes uh, of your time, guys, uh, because you already know it. It's more for for those who will watch it uh, for watching now and for uh, those who will watch it later. I got new website. Uh, you probably know it me uh, know me uh, because of my blog at Aikil Studio, uh, the Tom slash blog. It's gone now, right? There is no Aikil Studio. If you type aikilstudio.com, you will go exactly to directly to Fortij. Uh, Fortij is uh, new. My new project, where everything will be right there, basically. We'll have uh, Hangouts, uh, tutorials posted, uh, but it won't be blog anymore. I will have blog in another place, personal blog, but uh, yeah, I just want quick show a little bit. So this is uh, how it looks. And we even have Hangout here, so every Wednesday it will be a uh, live video. When we go in online, it will be live video here. That's well, it. You know, Alex, this is great uh, which you did because uh, it's uh, really difficult for me to follow you on all those websites you, you had. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. You see, it's so to have this in one place, it, this is just great. Yeah, and I hope it will be much better uh, organized. Because when it's blog, it's like it's it's hard to find anything, even old stuff. And here it, it will be no timeline. It will be basically um, like categories, all this stuff. So hopefully it will be better. And uh, what yeah. The, I was gonna ask, what is the, the photo G? Does it stand? Does it mean anything? Well, no. It's just you know, 40 G and. Uh, Prodigy, you know, that kind of, it sounds cool, and uh, it's it's easy to remember, 4TG, F-O-T-I-G-Y, uh, by the way, how you pronounce it, different? I pronounce it photogy. Photogy. Photogy, yeah, I see. <laughs> well, almost, yeah, almost there, you see, it's, it's kind of even easier to pronounce, yeah, and actually, uh, I I think, well, I'm not saying we're really looking for contributors. So if you have any idea, guys, even I know you you, you do great shots. If you do just little tutorial, it may be a good opportunity just to get uh, some audience and you know some exposure for you. We will post it obviously in open area because there is a premium area where uh, you can like buy a separate uh, tutorial or you can get a subscription and see. It. But uh, it will be probably maybe like 15% of what I do will be paid. The rest is for free. So, if you if you want something to post, uh, just let me know. We can review, and uh, it will be cool. I hopefully it will be cool for you. Today we got well. It's like uh, about 15,000 hits for s second day uh, wow. of the live, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so you have about uh, one and a half million followers, I see. So uh, it's well, you know, <laughs> it's not at Google. It, it's uh, you may be surprised, but uh, that's half a, mi uh, a million followers. It's they're not generating uh, much traffic on websites. <laughs> not really. It's Google Plus, not for that kind of thing. Google Plus more like image. You got image, you post it there. It can be well, it get huge exposure if you have a lot of followers. The link, first 30 minutes, people come into it, and then it just it gone. Yeah, if they're not really interested in what you have to offer, they yeah, yeah. unless it will be shared out, I mean, hundreds of time, and it will go to, it will make uh, to um, Google Hot a list. Yeah, then it will be obviously huge traffic coming in. But right. it, it has nothing to do with how many millions you have. Well, the beginning of this maybe because it's easier to get into that hot list if you have a lot of uh, followers, and uh, well, they will just go plus 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 and shares and bumps. You're there. Right. It's harder. Yeah. But still, I see a lot of posts that are very interesting posts. It's just from just so you, guys. you need more naked girls for this. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, it, it's funny. Uh, I have this uh, YouTube channel, a Kill Studio YouTube channel, and uh, posting hangout there. And well, it's like a thousand, two thousand views uh, within several weeks on on each video. And one video was like three times more views. I said, why? I mean, it was just a hangout. And it was one thing. It was sexy, uh, bottles. sexy bottles. bottles. Yes. Yeah. Bottle. And that was <laughs> just, just the word sexy and bomb. <laughs> so you have to you have to work the yeah you need to work the word sexy in all your, uh, yeah, all your yeah. titles. Probably next uh, sexy yeah. food shot next week, right? <laughs> exactly. Let's, let's do sexy do, food shot. Alex, let's let's do naked food. Naked food. <laughs> naked food. Yeah. Naked yeah. Food, yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know if anybody mentioned earlier because um, I got on just a little bit late, but I was surprised to see Alex's. Um, Guest blog at uh, Scott Kelby's uh, column this oh, morning. Yeah. Yeah. That was oh, very yeah. cool. That's some great exposure for you. I think there's he's got quite a following as well. So hopefully that will get you some additional exposure too. Oh yes, yes, it's it's great. Well, and he's, almost. he's talking next week at the Google Plus conference yeah. too. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I actually prepared video. Uh, I recorded it like a few hours ago uh, where I was talking about what I'm gonna shoot. Uh, at the studio uh, shot out part on the Google Plus conference, and uh, yeah, it will it will be cool shot actually. Oh, let let me tell you now. Come on, it will be posted. But anyway, uh, is that, that going to be limited? Well, uh, no, the, the posted uh, the the video will be for everything, but I think it will be even broadcasted, right? The all no, will the, be happen. I don't mean that. I mean like the because I'm going to be there. I'm just wondering. I know that some of the some oh, of you the mean the I see. People. I don't know. I see there is a time, uh, like timeline, and it's, there is no parallel timeline, right, for this today. So hopefully uh, it will be like one after the other, not uh, simultaneously. Oh, no, no, no. Some of the sessions, I think I was looking today because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, and there's at least four during the day where there's three things during that hour. So, like, I could go, I could go watch oh, I yours, I or I could go watch thing. somebody else's. Yeah. I see. Well... I don't know. So, this is what I will yeah. be shooting. This is bottle of Versace Yellow Diamond perfume. And what's cool, I was kind of looking at the subject, and when I've seen it, uh, I said, well, it looks interesting. First, it's like uh, almost like a gemstone, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's faceted. It's like big uh, diamond. So, it's part of uh, like a jewelry shot to get nice uh, look of this kind of thing. Then, uh, it has Inside, it has a reflective uh, metal, so it should be taken wow. care of. Plus, it's a bottle, so any so it basically it will work for what I'm going to show. Will work for any type of uh, alcohol shot or any any glass glass with liquid. So and I, I did already that shot, and it looks cool. And I, I, I love what we did. So, so you're going to do that live at the next week as well? Yes, yes, it will be live shot oh. like there. Yeah. We'll have uh, all the lights and everything I need, and uh, yeah, I'll do much more than we tested here because I, I just kind of tested the approach, and then uh, yeah, we'll see. Jenny will be with us, actually, which will be cool. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so guys, it's like it's several days left, and I know there are many discounts, free software, even three months of healthy training, right? So if you consider this, probably price won't be that much. Oh yeah. Well, I think it's also if you. I think they're gonna give it out when you get there. But now on one is giving away their. I think it's Photo Tools, which is like a hundred bucks. They're gonna right. give that yeah. plug-in away. Um, who else? They're get, I think was it Guy Kawasaki? He's got his his eBooks for free right now for subscribers. Yep. Uh, and they have student discount and even scholarship. Yeah, yeah, that student discount, that's killer. If you're a student in school, it's the the whole conference is 99 bucks. So, yeah. I paid I paid three, you know, what did I pay? I paid 2.99 and I think that was up to a couple of weeks ago and then it became 3.50, I think. So for for if you're a student, 99 bucks is a killer deal. Yeah. Sometimes I kind of miss that I'm not a student because prices sometimes here. <laughs> you're getting in for free, Alex. <laughs> well, yeah, true. <laughs> the only ticket for four, you know, ticket for four to oh, wow. San Francisco, it's it's another MacBook Pro basically. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Alec, you should you drive out. It only takes four days. Well, yeah, true. But kids will will won't like it. Yeah, take like maybe it. take six days with the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So, thank you, everyone. Are we good to go? So we'll, we'll do food for the net in two weeks from tonight. Yes, yes. Let's think about food shot. Uh, I don't know. I can post. Uh, I will probably do it uh, from now on. I will grab some nice uh, portfolios online about, um, I mean, something similar to, to the assignment. So for inspiration, kind of. I want to post uh, on the. It will be first topic on the assignment post on the blue, on the forum. Com slash forum. So uh, you can look at some food shots and get some interesting idea, inspiration, and shoot something. But yeah. Great. Oh. Should be interesting. Yeah. Um, Alrighty. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> and let's have a sleep tonight, hopefully. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, guys. Good trip. Hey guys. Bye.